Hey, good morning everyone. This is Dan with Lazarus Support. In this very important video today, we are going to talk about how to spot a crypto scam and how to protect yourself against scams. Let's do it. So in this video, I'm going to be as comprehensive as possible and cover as many type of scams as possible. But of course, scammers are very smart, so they will come up with new type of scams uh, to target you guys. But the core principle is always never share your 20 forward recovery phrase with anyone. Again, Ledger will never ask you for your 20 forward recovery phrase, but scammers will because that's the easiest way they can have access to your accounts. Again, never ever share your 20 forward recovery phrase. Don't take a picture of it. Don't make a digital copy of it. Keep it safe and offline. That being said, let's get into the video. All right, so type of scam number one would be the fake support accounts on Twitter. You can see one example here, official ledger support team. Uh, and of course, they've blocked us. So um, first red flag here, the handle is wrong. It's ledger underscore SPTT, which is the wrong handle. Um, compare that with the official ledger support channel. We have a golden check mark. Our official handle is ledger underscore support. Okay, again, that's ledger underscore support. Our account was created on August 2019th, and we've got currently 46,000 followers. And again, we have a square profile picture with a golden check mark. So that's how you can uh, quickly identify the, the correct account. Another way you can identify the correct account is that ledger will never DM you or ask you for your 24 word recovery phrase. So every single time someone pretending to be from Ledger or a Ledger account approaches you on Twitter or on social media asking you for your 24 word recovery phrase, this is a huge red flag. Never share your 24 word recovery phrase. Again, Ledger will never ask you for it, ever. All right, something else I wanted to point out is that some scam accounts are verified, so they have a blue check mark. You can see one example here. The reason why it's because it's actually quite easy for a scammer to buy an old uh, verified account and turn it into a scam account. So again, just be careful. It's not because an account is verified with a blue check mark that it is legit. Again, the official ledger support account has a golden check mark and we will never ask you for recovery phrase or DM you. Okay, so a related scam to the fake ledger account will be the fake ledger employee account. So you've got one example here. Uh, this person, Mike Francis 20, pretends to be a software and technical assistant engineer at Ledger Support Network. Uh, this is again a case where an old account was purchased by a scammer and then repurposed into a scam account. Um, you can see some red flags here. For example, this person has been tweeting about mostly hairdressing and they've got completely unrelated uh, pictures of people getting a haircut here. Um, and what this fake account will do is it will try to get into your DM and try to uh, get you to share your 24 word recovery phrase. Again, uh, Ledger employees will never DM you or contact you. The only way to get support uh, or to interact with Ledger on social media is via the official account. So that would be at Ledger or at Ledger underscore support. Um, again, be very, very careful. A legit Ledger employee will never DM you or ask you for your 24 word recovery phrase. Okay, next, another classic scam would be the address poisoning one. This one, you guys are probably familiar with it. We have a separate video on address poisoning. But basically, the gist is a scammer will send you a dust transaction to your account. So it might be a little bit of TRX, a little bit of USDC, or sometimes a zero value transaction, or sometimes even an NFT. Um, so you'll get that into your transaction history. What the scammer is hoping is that you will get lazy. And instead of creating um, your address via the send or receive button, you will just go into your transaction history and copy your address there. And of course, um, this is very dangerous. You should never do that. Whenever you send coins or receive coins, you should always use the send or receive buttons. And also always, always double check that the address is correct 
on your ledger device and you need to check every single character on the address not just the first four and last four characters but also all the different uh, characters because scammers are actually very good at forging addresses that might look very similar to your own address so again be very very careful address poisoning very common these days especially on cheap blockchains like tron polygon or by smart chain but also more recently on ethereum because it's a, it's a bear market so fees are cheap so scammers are also able to deploy uh, address poisoning scams on ethereum as well so by the way if your account has been poisoned with an nft then you don't have to panic having a poison nft in your account does not compromise the account as long as you don't touch the nft then you're fine what i would recommend is just simply hide the nft by right clicking on it in ledger live and then clicking hide nft collection so you don't have to see it anymore in your gallery again it's okay to have a poison nft in your account just completely ignore it don't try to move it or send it to a burn address just ignore it and you'll be fine so still on the topic of nfts be careful with scammy nfts because a lot of them have a phishing link in their open seed description so you've got one example here right if i click this website link here i'll be directed to a phishing website that will try to steal my 24 word recovery phrase so yeah keep that in mind and again never type your 24 word recovery phrase into any app Anyone asking you to do it is a scammer and trying to steal your funds. Another very common scammy technique is to place a bid that's much, much lower than the actual floor price. So for example, here you've got uh, someone placing a bid of seven USDC or seven DAI for a mutant ape that's worth, uh, for example, seven ETH. So that's also something you need to pay close attention to uh, when you're accepting offer, make sure that you're not accidentally accepting an offer for a fraction of the price of the NFT. Another very common type of scam um, targeting NFT specifically is the case where a scammer will somehow convince you to accept a transaction on your device. So the transaction might either give access to your collection to a smart contract that's controlled by the scammer and the scammer will be able to drain your funds that way or what happened to kevin rose more recently where he was led onto a malicious website uh, and then he signed a zero value sell order uh, that the scammer used to drain his nfts unfortunately so i think that the big lesson here is that you should always have multiple different ledger accounts you should have your vault account which never does anything dangerous so it's just here for storing your nfts and valuable coins but nothing else it doesn't sign transactions um, for listing or selling nfts it doesn't do DeFi, degen stuff it's just here for storing nfts and coins and then on the side you have other accounts that you use for DeFi, for selling and buying nfts for uh, approving smart contracts and things like that also something we also recommend is to use the revoke.cash website um, tool once in a while again uh, it's revoke.cash make sure to bookmark the legit site because there are fake versions of it as well what revoke.cash will do is it will purge all uh, allowances to your accounts that you might have given a smart contract in the past so that's also very very important and that should be part of your um, security hygiene okay last but not least we have the case of fake apps and wallets that will try to steal your 24 word recovery phrase. So let me show you one example here. So this one pretends to be a decentralized wallets applications, um, meta wallet, so something like that. Um, so there is a ledger live option here. And if you click on it, it will basically, um, you know, prompt you with an error message. And if you click connect manually, then it will ask you for your recovery phrase. Again, never type your recovery phrase into any website or the scammer will be able to drain your funds. And then of course, there is the more sophisticated version of that, which is the fake Ledger Live. So this one is, um, you can see it might look like Ledger Live, although it's in a browser, but uh, yeah, it will prompt you to select your device and then you will run a fake scan on your device and tells you, of course, something is wrong and you need to restore your wallet from recovery phrase. Um, 
and then of course they will prompt you to type your recovery phrase here. If you do, your funds will be lost immediately. So please do not, again, your recovery phrase is super important. These are your private keys, never share it never type it to any website, never create a digital copy of it. And finally, there is a type of scan that we call supply chain attacks where someone somehow will get a hold of the box while we shipping it to you. They will open the box, set up the device, create a recovery phrase, put the recovery phrase on the card, they put the card in the box, then they ship you the box and you know make it look like the, the package was never opened in the first place. Now what they're doing is like they're hoping that you will just use the device and send funds to the, those preset accounts and then they'll be able to drain the funds. Um, again, the way to protect yourself here is to pay close attention when you uh, switch on the device for the first time. It should always show you the ledger screen followed by the welcome screen. If instead it shows you the pin screen, it's a red flag. It means the device has been preset and you should immediately uh, reset the device by typing three wrong pins and also get rid of the recovery phrase that came in the box. Again, uh, new devices will never come with uh, a card with a pin code and a recovery phrase with words on it. Um, new devices will create a new recovery phrase for you guys. And very last uh, type of scam that we've seen before is the case where there is malware on your computer that will uh, corrupt the clipboard. So now when you copy the address from Ledger Live, it will actually uh, switch your address for the scammer address. Uh, again, this is due to malware, uh, but it's led to loss of funds in the past. So also be very, very careful. Run frequent antivirus checks and malware checks on your device to make sure to purge those and you're not infected. And also always, always check the address that shows on the device. The, the address that shows on the device is the truth, not necessarily the one you see uh, on your computer. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or any doubts, drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Uh, I would also suggest that you read this article on the Help Center. So that's support.ledger.com. The Help Center article is called How to Keep Your 24 Word Recovery Phrase and PIN Code Safe. Very useful article. If you have any questions, again, you can reach out uh, in the video comments or you can click the contact us button here. Uh, you'll be chatting with a bot and, and then you'll be put in touch with a live agent. Uh, that being said, again, never, never share your 24 word recovery phrase. Don't type it anywhere. Um, anyone asking you for it is a scammer. And uh, yeah, stay safe, guys. Have a good weekend and take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.